This video is going to be about peanut allergies and whether or not science has developed a cure. Allergies have been around for centuries, and one of the first recorded cases of allergens was in the 1800s by Dr. Blackley. He conducted the first skin test by placing pollen onto his skin to isolate the cause of his seasonal sneezing. But first, let's address the following question. What are allergies? Consider this situation. We are in the human body, which is represented by this secure location, with cameras monitoring the area, also known as the antigen presenting cells. The purpose of the cameras is to report any suspicious activity back to the security system. In the case of the human body, this would be the antigen presenting cells reporting back to the inflammatory system. Keep in mind, when I say suspicious activity, I'm referring to an allergen entering the human body. In this case, it would be the peanut consumed by the individual. The cameras have caught an intruder. The allergen, aka the peanut, has entered into the secure location. Now, the cameras are notifying the security system. Security guard, also known as the B-cell, arrives. And once he spots the intruder, he calls up through his megaphone, known as the plasma cell, and the signal released from the megaphone acts as the IgE antibodies that notify the clerk. And in this situation, the clerk would be the mast cells. The clerk then calls for more security guards to help with the escort of the intruder. The security guards are the inflammatory responses released by the mast cells in the body to handle an allergen. The security guards attempt to escort the intruder out of the area. However, he puts up a fight. This would be the allergic response we're referring to. Peanut allergies in particular bear a lot of weight in society, where severe allergic reactions have been on the rise in the modern world. Where schools prohibit the classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and companies commit to completely peanut-free facilities. However, according to many recent articles, is the cure for the peanut allergy soon within our grasp? Take this article for example. The title is very misleading especially because they generalize a small study conducted in Australia with under 50 subjects towards the North American population. That is why it is easy for individuals to be misinformed on whether or not there is a cure out there. However, today we wanted to dive into why and how the peanut allergy epidemic seems to be occurring and the truth behind whether a cure is really within our grasp. First, let's look at the two of the many common methods of coping with allergies. Some mothers actually prevent their children from eating peanuts at an early age, thinking that this would prevent any allergic reactions. However, science indicates that this may actually lead to an increased sensitization to peanuts. However, for people who can't possibly do this or just want a less restrictive diet, in the research literature, there's actually several different treatment options. The treatment that is referred to in this study is an immunotherapy treatment, which is a probiotic that is coupled with the peanut. This treatment induces a desensitization or a familiarity of the body to the peanut. This brings us to the Australian research article mentioned in the news article we talked about earlier. We will look into their type of treatment. Keep in mind, a probiotic is considered to be good bacteria that is consumed by the individual along with the peanut. The good bacteria helps strengthen your intestines to allow for the individual to secrete less inflammatory responses. If we were to look at it through the lens of our previous scenario, the probiotic is a security escort that will help the intruder form a good relationship with the security. Therefore, there is no need to get to the security system to call for backup, and the intruder is able to leave without any harm. This is a really cool treatment, and we don't deny that. But before you start putting peanut butter and jellies back into your kids' lunch boxes, think about this. The treatment trial conducted in the Australian article had shown great results with 80% success in the subjects. 
However, with this immunotherapy treatment, the treatment effects last for a short period of time after. Despite this piece of information, however, the article was one of the first to show such promising results of the treatment. We have come a long way with research, especially when we compare past research experiments and treatments with today's. Here are two articles one could retrieve from a past study with a treatment of today's study. Even though we don't have a long-lasting cure, we are surely on the way to discover one. With this video, we wanted you to gain more insight on how allergies work and where research is in developing treatments. Even though there is no cure just yet, research will eventually develop more ideas to get us onto that path. For now, be cautious and consult your doctor before you make any decisions associated with any allergic reaction or allergy.